Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. Um, we've been doing a lot of lunar shooting. Haven't seen much until tonight. We filmed some interesting things. I was experimenting with depth of field, which is basically when you take an image and you can either have just the image in focus, foreground, background, out of focus. Here's a balloon that is not that far away from me and it is not that far out of focus, just barely out of focus. So that shows what I was uh, messing around with this day, which uh, I'll talk about more later, but look in the lower right on the right side of the moon. You're going to have to look quick. You may not see them till I blow them up. There were all these little anomalies um, that we were picking up with the full spectrum camera. The visual spectrum only sees uh, black here, so we kept seeing all different shapes and kind of looks like wispy smoke almost. Just keep your eye fixed on the right side. Funny thing was, this did not happen on any other edge of the moon all night, and we saw this for many hours, um, just pretty much in the same area of the upper right limb of the moon in the lip portion. Um, as we filmed through the night, uh, we saw a couple of blinking lights that just blinked on for a second and blinked out, and I will show you those in a minute. Um, but we'll look at just a few of these these things that only the full spectrum camera could pick up. And I have my depth of field uh, set up to try to get in focus not only the object but as much of the foreground as I can. I'm still experimenting to see how close I can get it to me. You may have noticed a dot there. That's a 8.7 magnitude star. And in a minute here, we're going to look at the, the actual, what I consider the most interesting things of the night. Um, we recorded some weird flashes uh, on the whole lit portion of the moon. So this is going to happen quickly. Watch the lit edge of the moon. And there it went. What I'm going to do is slow it down and blow it up. Just watch the outer edge on the right there. There it went, and it's slowed way down. I'm going to do it again here for this one and I have a better example. And there it is, it kind of flares up a little. But there was also a double flare which was a little more evident. It's easier to see in the raw footage than it is here. So watch the right side and you're going to see a little double flash all the way up. There it went. I'm going to do the same thing here, blow it up and slow it down a bit. Watch the right side. There it is, the double flash, and we'll take one more view of that. There it is, slowed way down. I think that was at 20%. Just an unusual thing, I've never seen that before. <clears throat> so look in the upper right here, uh, you'll see a little object shoot in. It was very quick. I'll slow it down and blow it up. You'll see a circle come in. It'll be inside the circle. There it went in, and now here comes the light. This is the first of the blinking lights. The circle will come up. Look inside there. You'll see it just blink on very quickly. We saw this a couple times uh, at different distances from the moon. Here's another example. This happened just as I was cutting the frame off. It'll be above the moon there, and I'll zoom in on it. I'll just freeze when it happens and zoom in in. There we go. Uh, there it is above the moon and zoom in and it just blinks on and off. This was at the very end of the frame So just very interesting things particularly those flashes. I've never seen that before um, And it's not vis visible at all in visual spectrum. It was only visible with the full spectrum camera So more objects coming in on the right here or whatever that is you see a circle come in And there it goes and we'll take one or two more views of objects and then there's one that kind of darts in that you can see coming from a ways off. It's on the right side here. You have to wait till I slow it down. It's too hard to see on these just regular raw clips. And the circle will come in. It's going to come from the upper right all the way in. There's the circle. And there it is shooting whatever that thing is. All right, well, the, the road trip is getting closer. Um, this will be the last clip that I mentioned funding. There may be one more if I squeeze one more clip out. Uh, I have some absolute 
great spots in the desert. So the first few days out, I will be in the California desert, and uh, it should be very interesting. I'm really excited to do the kind of 30 state State of the Union and film things as I catch them on top of all the other things that I normally do. Um, thank you to all you who have contributed. I have had quite a number of smaller donations, which is how public funding is designed, so thank you for that. Um, the the uh, link for funding will remain open for a while longer, and if I get one or two more clips out, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time or not. We'll see. Um, I may mention this one more time. But, so there it is. The road trip is uh, getting a bit closer now, and thanks to all who have contributed. Cheers.